guys, um, some of you may know I've been making a My Little Pony costume, which will be cool. Um, it doesn't look like my Rainbow Dash one because that wasn't made by me. It doesn't look as good because I'm not amazing, but uh, I will show you soon as soon as I make the eyes because it looks really creepy without its eyes. And that's the last part of the head that I need to do. Um, I've made the hooves today. I need to make the tail and the hand hooves because I don't have those. But what I'm showing you today is my foot hooves, which are, eh, I can't even show you, um, but they're foot hooves, and um, basically there are two parts. One part is the top leg, which is thin, and one part is the bottom leg, which is the hoof. Um, I'm just going to try to put this on the chair or something. No, it's not going to work. All right, well, let's start the preview of them. Um, I'll show you them walking um, soon. Um, so why I have bandanas on them um, is because they are separated by two parts, and the way to give them better ventilation is to um, as you can see. There we go. Um, is to give them two parts, and the bandana makes it really easy to um, allow your sorry allow your legs to uh, so to say breathe, but if I were to take these off, it would look like an awful mess. But these are the hooves. Um, and then there's a bottom to them, which is just made out of that rubber mat kind of stuff you get. We'll just put this on the floor and see if we can get a little walking. So basically, here they are. Um, they're pretty easy to move around. I know the bottoms are giant, but I really like giant feet, and that's what I was aiming for. So, yeah. Um, so now I'm going to show you what the are made of. This is the bandanas. I made them really large. I just wanted to put bandanas around the legs, too. I thought it'd look cool. And it's Canada-themed, so that's why it's red and white. Let me just sit down. This is attached by a whole lot of, um, uh, sorry, one second, um, safety pins because um, I do not want normal pins poking into me and um, I need to be able to take this apart. If I find some Velcro, I might, but Velcro makes like a dumb noise whenever you walk around with Velcro, so it'll, it'll sound a little weird. So I think I'm just going to stick with baby pins or safety pins or whatever you call them because they're easier to use. And I'd say each hoof is attached to the leg part by five, no, probably more like seven pins. Anyways, I'm just getting these out. Six or seven, I'm guessing. There's already five on the floor right now. I can probably just skip past few seconds because this is taking a while. There we go. Last one. Now these, this part, one second, let me take this off. <sighs> Wonderful feet. Oh, they're free. Free. Okay, this part is actually attached to my shorts because it um, would slip if it wasn't, so it's just attached with hot glue. I would have sewn it, but it would have been difficult, and I'm too lazy. Uh, probably if it was a commission, I would have. But this is my own suit, and I'm just practicing here. But here it is. I don't feel like taking the other one off. It's just going to take too long. But um, it's really hot under these, so when you're working with this kind of stuff, you got to get used to hot um, temperatures. Let me just roll this back. There we go. Inside here is the, out, the outside layer is foam, and here is a sock, which is what keeps my foot inside this. It's pretty hollow. It's pretty lightweight. It's just really hot. So, yeah, do not smell inside those, but the smell won't be... Um, you know, noticeable if you're wearing them. Anyways, um, 
so what I did, sorry, it's just some old glue stuck to my fur. Um, so what I did is I took a um, piece of sort of that kind of stuff you put in your garage when you're working on a car. If anybody has cars, I don't have a car, but my family has cars, like most families. I don't know. Um, and then I made a template. Actually, I made the template first, and I used that for the hook. And underneath this mat is actually another mat, which you can see from the inside, but it's actually two mats because the first one you've got to use to wrap the foam around it, and the second one you just put on that to cover that up. Um, I'll show you my hand hoops as soon as I finish them. What I'm planning for my hand hoops is um, because I'm running out of white fur, I'm just going to have the hand hoops and then I'm going to have like a sleeve that'll just go underneath my shirt, like a mock sleeve. So that'll be cool. Um, as you can see with this one, it looks pretty crappy without the bandana. The bandana still looks kind of crappy. I'll probably get some better ones soon. I just made these in like a minute, like both of them in a minute. But anyways, um, but the reason it looks like that is because I've got to be able to move my feet or I won't be able to walk or get up from when I'm sitting. Let's see. But um, this kind of thing works quite well if you have a bandana. Um, anyways, that's about it. Um, I would have done a tutorial, but I forgot about that. And also, this is my first time making hooks. And it, I was working on them like 10 in the night, at, at night, so probably would have sounded kind of weird. <laughs> Anyways, um, so that's all.